So the second half, Lauren already in the arena. We just put the microphone back on uh, Zara before she comes back in. Lauren's riding Cassia Dam, a seven-year-old owned by Lee Popley. Lee, you're here. Where is she? Lee? Oh, she's in, in the stables. Um, very grateful for Lee. Great supporter of yours as well, Lauren. Um, owned by... Uh, Lee Popley, homebred by Lee as well, jumped in uh, the young horse class whilst you were in Hamburg last week, correct? Yeah. So uh, we're very grateful to her. And Zara just coming in. Zara's riding now Watkins. Watkins, 13-year-old, uh, owned by Judith Luff. Uh, again, great supporter of yours. And, and owners are so in incredibly uh, important through whether it be dressage, show jumping, or eventing. And uh, Watkins is aiming for Le Moulin in two weeks for the CCI five star long. We have to say five star long now. We got that right earlier, Zed, didn't we? Yes, we did. We had to work it out though. You did. So <laughs> it's all changed. And for those of you who don't know, um, from the CIC to the CCI, we understood that, we just got there, and now we've had to go from uh, CIC to CCI short, and for the CCI that was is now CCI long. Um, so the horse that she was riding earlier, Zara was riding earlier, Class Affair, doing his first CCI four-star long at Bramham in just a couple of days' time. And uh, Watkins, been a great campaigner for you, Zed, as well, hasn't he? Pardon? Been a great campaigner for you, yeah. Watkins. Um, not the easiest either. He, he doesn't really do dressage. So uh, great that we're jumping tonight. Um, but he's great fun jumping. So she's going to be doing the CCI five star long at Le Moulin over in Germany in, in a couple of weeks time. So once again, we're so lucky, so, so lucky. Don't be afraid to clap. Don't be afraid to get behind them because they do need this atmospheric condition. Um, do, do clap, do applaud them when uh, possible. But I'll hand you over once again to Captain Mark Phillips. So, uh, clap, clap, guys. <laughs> <laughs> I don't need the cla clapping, but I have to say, some of what they did in the last bit was really... Um, Trouble is, they make it look so easy, but actually it was really difficult. Um, but so, uh, Lauren, just tell us uh, a little bit more about, about this horse. So, um, this is Cassia Dam. We call her in the stable Delilah. Um, and she was bred by my dear friend, Lee Popley. Um, all the proceeds tonight from the tickets you guys bought to come are going to Lee's late daughter's memorial fund. Um, so it's a bit of a sad, happy story in that um, we have really high hopes for this mare. Uh, she's only seven. Um, she's a bit of an old soul. She, well, I don't know if she will be tonight, but uh, everything we ask her to do, she does easy. Um, so I think the biggest thing right now is patience. Um, whoa! <laughs> um, she... She can be a bit cheeky also. Uh, you'll notice uh, this horse has a lot of blood um, and she jumps quite exuberant. Um, I, I, with the young ones, I, I don't put back boots on normally. Um, she's, she's very, very good behind. So uh, as she gets older, she'll have to use them, but now um, we choose not to. Um, so yeah, we have, Hopefully, she's part of my future, I hope. Zara. Um, this is Watkins. He's a 13-year-old New Zealand thoroughbred um, that I bought off a friend of mine from New Zealand who she didn't really believe in doing dressage training. <laughs> so um, It's a bit like the Irish. You know, dressage <laughs> doesn't translate into Irish. Um, so we've, we've kind of... That's our weakest phase. He doesn't really enjoy it. 
Um, he does it with gritted teeth and because he knows that uh, if he does that, he can go cross country and show jump. Um, he's actually a great horse, a really fun horse to ride, just absolutely loves his job. Um, just one of those really cool ones to ride. Um, uh, yeah, really enjoys himself, but doesn't enjoy the dressage. So we are always catching up after, after dressage. Annoyingly, but he um, he's he will always do his best to try and catch up. Um, he's a bit, he tries his heart out. Physically, um, he's actually not that strong in uh, you know for that f that phase. So he does find it very difficult. Um, but I do I do enjoy riding him very much, and he's great experience at um, at this level. And um, now he's going to his first five star. So I'm really looking forward to that. Um, we'll see how we can get on. Just just uh, before we start jumping, I mean, Zara and Lauren, you've you both ridden in uh, the Olympic Games, World, World Games, won medals in a team. Um, have you got a secret of how you deal with the, the pressures of A, riding in a team, or B, um, at, at the Olympic Games? Me? Yeah, why not you start with um, I don't. I don't know, really. Everyone's different, I think. I really enjoy running a team situation. I think I probably perform better with more pressure. Um, probably gives me a kick up the ass. Um, <laughs> makes me concentrate more. And um, yeah, I love the whole championship. Um, being able to ride for your country. Um, you know, uh, we're in a sport where, you know, we're individuals most of the time and then we get put together um, and everyone's strong, stronger in different phases. Um, so yeah, I love, I love being, so being able to compete at that level. And if you're sat on something that you really do believe in, um, I think you, that gets the best performance out of you. So, I mean, is, you're as good under pressure these days as anybody. Is that something you've learned or is that something that just sort of comes naturally to you? I think... Um, have you always been good or is it, have you got better? I've definitely got better. Um, I think, um, you know, experiences, the more experiences you have at the top level, um, the more you obviously learn from. Annoyingly in our sport, uh, the more mistakes you make, the more you learn. Um, <laughs> so there's a, lot of, there's a lot of learning that goes on, obviously. Um, but when, it, when you get it right, um, you can see, um, you know, the combination, the partnership, it really, really works. Any, any tips for how people may be going to a pony club team or a, for the first time? I think um, for me, I always just concentrate on your own performance and not, um, not get sort of dragged into um, too much outside what, what you need to do. That's what I would say. Lauren, what, 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 what's your... Um, so I have a bit of a funny story. I uh, had done team stuff as a junior and a young rider, and then uh, in the year 2000 for the Sydney Olympic Games in America, we had a, a completely objective system, and I was uh, 23 at the time with really no senior level experience when it came to championships. Um, so after 10 rounds and two drop scores over three weeks, I made the Olympic team. <laughs> Uh, so my first time ever in a Senior Nations Cup was at the Olympic Games. Um, looking back on it, it probably was a good thing because I, I don't, at the time I didn't really realize what I had accomplished. Um, so I started at the, at the very highest level um, and as the years have gone, I, I, the same as Zara, I love, love, love riding on a team. I love the pressure. Um, I love representing my country. Um, and it's something that's really important to me and, and most of my goals each year are set around championships or Nations Cups um, because I think that that's what the sport is about. Um, in our sport nowadays, there's so much prize money to be won with these Global Champions Tours, which I still enjoy doing, um, but for sure the priority always for me is uh, to represent my country and ride on Nations Cups and, and championships. Zara, do you think from one Olympic Games to another, so you're already preparing what you think you might possibly be able to ride in, in Tokyo or Paris? Or? 
Yeah, I think, um, you know, when you sit on a horse, you get an idea of the, um, the possibility that, you know, it's good enough to go to a championship level and hope that, uh, you know, as you go through the levels, um, you can develop and create that partnership that, um, that you can get to a championship level. And I would hope... For me, the, the last horse you saw, Class Affair, has, those, um, has that ability to be able to go to the top. So I would hope if I have a really good year this year with him, that he might be thought about for next year for Olympics or um, you know, the year after for, for Europe. That, that's why you're going to Bramham next week and not that's the five-star. That's why I'm going to Bramham. Possibly Burley if it goes well. Yeah, yeah so hopefully we'll have a good result of Bramham and he's um, scope-wise and ability-wise, he's then hopefully good enough to go to Bramham at the end of the uh, to Burley at the end of the year um, so it gives us um, the best chance possible to show ourselves prove ourselves to to selectors and to to ourselves I guess as well okay time for a jump yeah. the um, do you want to have a canter around I yes, think can please. you get started over this one sure Looking at the shadows. Can we just catch that one more time, please? One more time, please. Wait. Move right on, <laughs> one of you. Don't matter which way you go. <laughs> I guess we're nervous about the plank. <laughs> I'm nervous about the shadows. <laughs> Oh, sorry. <coughs> Good girl. Sorry? In here? Yeah, two. Uh, up three. Off you go. <laughs> Good boy. 
grocery mall. Oh. Why didn't you get to jump it yet? Sorry? I need to jump that out. Oh, sorry. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> Hang on, oh, 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 sorry. <laughs> So, I'm sorry, the warm up's a little repetitive, but the warm up's the warm up, and you know, a horse is a horse, so there's no shortcuts. Really. Always with this mare on the first day, somewhere new. She's very brave, but I tend to end up jumping a bit more in the warm up than, uh, say, the second day, because even though she's brave, she tends to go quite high. So um, I jump a lot of fences, in the, not a lot, but more than usual, and never too big. My style on this horse is slightly different to Delilah. <laughs> he gets the job done, but he doesn't look quite so fancy. Yeah, the, the feet go in different directions. Eh? Hey? Is it the feet go in different directions? Well, that was nice. <laughs> oh, don't sound, don't sound surprised. Off you go, Lauren. Sorry? You get good? Yeah. Yep. Trying to get the warm up done. You want to put them up? Okay. I'm gonna try and jump it. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Good. Okay. You're gonna jump them. Go <laughs> down. That one looks good. But go this way, yeah? <laughs> okay. <laughs> I can get to, into enough trouble without trying. Wait, wait, after all. <laughs> See what I mean by going a little too high? <laughs> Watkins, <coughs> trying to make you look bad. <laughs> With him, I, when I warm up, I just because he gets so excited and just wants to do it, so just try and go as calmly as possible. Oh, yeah. on, that, on that side, just go a little bit wider. I'll show you. Yeah, come over here. This standard here in the back, this one. Yeah, just move it a little bit that way. Just a little bit. Good job. Thank you. 
Okay. <coughs> you know, notice that they actually both went down in seven, but now it's a bit bigger. There's probably going to be six. Mm -hmm. And you remember, of course, <coughs> they went down in five at the end on the other horses. Oh, that's probably a little bit my fault because we're sort of just rushing the warm up a little bit. <laughs> but um, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Going to do my nose thumb up. Off you go, Lauren. Probably is my counting as well. <laughs> I need to do that one more time. I'll follow you, sir. And she's only a young horse. <laughs> Try again. Oh. Hey, 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 hey. Easy walk. Well. Good girl. Seven. You ought to go once more, Zara, just in a normal six. Just one thing to point out with this mare, because she has such a powerful jump, and at the moment she's a little bit, this, she lands a little bit low, so I actually put my stirrups down one hole, and I really try to concentrate on wrapping my leg around and staying strong through my core, because if you, I find if your stirrups get too short on a horse that jumps too high, you land too much on the neck, and it takes you three strides to recover. Okay. Ooh. Do you want to go a little bigger? Um, yeah. Sure. Just two? So can you guys just slant the bottom rails on one side, go up high at the, at the bottom, and then the opposite on the other side? I'm just doing that because I don't want it to look too airy for her. No, you're good there, so yeah. Go all the way with that side, go all the way up. And then go down on that side. Down. There you go. And then just up a little bit more with the bottom there. Normally, if I were at home, I always jump her with ground lines so she doesn't drag herself under and then go too high, but this will be good enough for tonight. Oh, he's running. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad I'm doing this this week, because uh, otherwise it'll wound him up too much for Lemoulin. <laughs> and I need all the help I can get in the dressage. <laughs> But as you can see, actually, when he's in the ring, because he's not very big and he is really, he's got an interesting style, but he, I quite like him like that, quite feisty and raring to go. But when it's a bit smaller, I want to try and keep him a bit quieter and kind of a bit more controlled. But Papa's going to wind him up now. <laughs> Go one more time. Just the just the line, or uh, do you want to do? I'll f I'll figure something out. Okay. Can you get down here? <laughs> they never listen to me anyway, so. <laughs> um, 
girls, I'm good. Yeah, you're good. I'm going to jump that blue one and go in between those two yellow, or try. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to stand over here. Easy. Good girl. Good girl. you do then? Sorry? He <laughs> jumped the blue going that way. Blue going this way and then <laughs> the red and the blue oxen. Not the plank. I didn't jump the plank but you can do. She's seven. And eight. Tricky. <laughs> Boy. Okay. <coughs> ah, thanks. <coughs> You notice that Zara's got a little bit of a different style on this one, and he, he shortens really easily, and uh, <coughs> and you know, we, we talk about strides, but actually the answer is to um, um, you've got to ride your own horse. Uh <coughs> Lauren's great little mare Ulala has just retired. They um, won the young horse class at Arken a few years ago, and uh, in the jump off. She took 18 more strides than the guy that was second. <laughs> um, His horse was about 18 too, and mine is about 15 too. <laughs> no, but it's, it, so it's not actually the, the um, <coughs> having said like we said before, 60 feet and less, you need a plan. But over that, yeah, the balance and the rhythm, particularly the balance, I is, the, um, is the most important thing. So, <coughs> Lauren's now going to crap herself because she's never jumped a corner before. Um, so it'll be easy for <laughs> Zara. <coughs> just come and jump the the corner ah. corner here. Me too. Yeah. Ay ay ay. It's just a, it's just an oxer. I know, but yeah, jump me. it right of centre, and it's an oxer. <laughs> I actually have a whip. Loose. Come on, little girl, you can do this. <laughs> I think I was more scared than her. <laughs> Good girl. Good girl. So <laughs> we do have the technology huh. to, ma to make the ox a little bigger. Well, she was so straight, Lauren, that... <laughs> uh -oh. Okay, Zara. going to get so mad with him when you guys have gone. <laughs> Pardon? Off you go. Oh. You can go the other way if you like. I think I might go back. Oh, okay. sorry. Put my jerks up. Hi. 
You could make a bigger jump for me, but I don't really want to do that. <laughs> do you want to jump it? Oh, yeah, I'll do it. One yeah. more time. Okay. I'm going the same direction. She's yeah. going to go so high. What? She's going to go so high. Oh, stop. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Good girl. You're okay. You're all right. Good girl. See, Lauren thinks us, us inventors are crazy. <laughs> Good girl. Good girl. <coughs> so, but we have to you know, teach the horses to do this stuff. And, uh, you know, this is a very good way to teach them to jump a, a narrow. Because you remember I said that the, uh, the horses gather their information this way. So the X over the barrel, actually, the optic from the horse's perspective, is the width of the, the, width of the poles. Um, so, <coughs> sorry, if you just pop down there, very, very simple. Two strides in between. <laughs> Pardon, two strides. Sorry? Two strides. Two strides, yeah. Just normal. Hmm? I hope she's only doing it in one. Oh, she'll be all right. The, the rides that we're having to corners and the skinnies at the moment is not really what happens cross country. <laughs> Usually, you don't get such a nice, nice line to it. No, well, <coughs> yeah, we're going to come to that in a minute. But yeah. the <laughs> anyway, so I'm saying, but yeah, <laughs> yeah. normally but they're put in horrible but positions. But like we say, you don't want the horses to fail, so you've got to teach them to do it. Easy. You could do that one. Good girl. Don't get any idea she's not going to be an event horse. <laughs> <laughs> um. <laughs> we'll just this one, yeah. <coughs> oh. Off you go, sir. Same way? Go either way. Hmm? No, go, go this way, yeah. Same, same way. Um, yeah, just take the two. two. Now leave, leave, leave the ones at the back. Leave the ones at the back. That's it. Yeah, leave the ones at the back. That's it. Just bring this. Kick this in. No, no. That's it. Papa, can you touch your toes? Sorry? Can you touch your toes? <laughs> Luckily, I didn't hear what you said. <laughs> S same way again. Red to black. <laughs> yeah.
<coughs> Bear in mind, that horse has never seen anything like this ever before. And hopefully won't again. <laughs> <laughs> the, uh, put it just a straight line. You put it on the floor. That's it. Well done. Just roll that one out a bit. Okay, Zara, go the other way. I'm amazed. No, I mean, that's... Hey, it's a you, you've never jumped a narrow before in your life, never mind a barrel, and then go and do that. It, it's, that's extraordinary. She's an amazing character, this horse. She, she has the ability, even if she's nervous about something at the beginning, once she does it once, she sort of takes it on. And I think that that's why she's going to have a bright future ahead of her. Never anything. <laughs> <laughs> no. <coughs> so Zara was complaining that the corner was too easy, yeah? So Zara, now come um, round, just come round the back of the red one and jump it from there. <laughs> Good girl. In between you, am I? Good girl. <coughs> now come, now come inside the red one. What? Come inside the red one. Sorry, pardon. <laughs> inside the red. Yeah. <coughs> we. Uh, <coughs> you know, but uh, <coughs> you know, when we're teaching the horses to do it, you know. You've got to start off um, so that they they can jump the bisecting line at 90 degrees, and then you know, little bit by little bit, yeah, you come to here, yeah, like outside. That's that's three star, and then when you come inside, now you're talking four five star because the the ang angle of approach, um, and uh, <coughs> but yeah. You, you have to teach the horses to teach the horses to do that so the um what we can do now lauren you can come um on the inside here and jump the dodson horrell on the angle and you got one stride to the to the black uh <laughs> <laughs> no really <laughs> yeah okay you know, it's a, it's a straight line you go first, Can, can you take the yellow ones <laughs> away? What are we doing? Just put them by the, by the corner over there. Those two on the angle? Just come through here and just go straight there. Off the left or the right? Off the left. What? <laughs> Inside the red? Between I did, but the it doesn't, red it doesn't matter. It comes to the same oh, thing. Oh, jeez. <laughs> I was making it more difficult for myself. <laughs> oh, add it down. <laughs> I don't think that's good. No? No? I'll, ju I'll jump the black one once, but okay. I don't want to scare her. Okay. <laughs> Good girl. Good girl. 
Good girl. You're okay. You're all right. Oh, oh, oh. oh. Good stuff. Good stuff. So, oh, oh, oh. <coughs> Lauren, I'll just jump it at an angle going that way. So come. Jump. The black one at an angle? No, no, no. The blue one. Oh, okay. So you're going to go around the, round the back of me. <laughs> Good girl. Easy. It wasn't so bad. Sorry? It wasn't so bad. No. <laughs> the, uh, <coughs> so, uh, Lauren, what do you want to do to with her? To uh, we can jump a little bit bigger if you want. You could, you could go two with the red and uh, two with this line and maybe four with the vertical. I think the good thing, like uh, for a cross country horse, we're always looking for a horse that will look between the flags and will look where it was, just wants to go where, where you're aiming at. And as you can see with Delilah, she's pretty much the same. She wants to do what Lauren wants to tell her and she likes the challenge too. Yes. Two. Which is kind of what our cross country horses need. If they don't like a challenge, then they're not going to enjoy it. Well, they're not going to want to do it, so... Oh, so sorry. The more they enjoy it, the, the better, the straighter they're going to go for you, the more they're going to jump for you, the, the, the more you're going to get out of them. These days, with the, at the five-star level in nice. our sport, um, Eve. Eve. they, every week, you're jumping huge jumps Girls. and Girls. going Girls. fast and... Like I said in the beginning with this mare, Just that one. the biggest thing is going to be patience with her because everything you ask her to do, it's quite easy for her. Um, but I can see already probably in the middle of her eight-year-old year, she'll probably start to do some two-star, three-star Grand Prix, and then I'll give her a break in the fall. And then by her nine-year-old year, I would expect that we're sort of ready to go. It'll still be a learning curve when they're nine, but um, because in her brain she's so advanced, uh, I just have to be careful not to push too much. Good girl. That's, that's, that's about perfect. Yeah. Good girl. Good uh. girl. <coughs> the, uh, <coughs> you know, we were talking earlier about planning and, and going forward. Um, you know, it's an interesting thing that she's eight now, Lauren? She's seven. Seven. Yeah. Next year, eight. Yeah. Too, too young for Tokyo, but hey. 12 years, 12 year old for Paris, she'll be about in her prime. Yeah? That's the sort of the, 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 the thinking and you can see what a special young horse um, she is. Zara. Mm -hmm. yeah. The, uh, just come and jump the triple brush, yeah? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then down over the two barrels without the training wheels. Okay. 
when there's silence, I always know I've got her attention. Around the side. Sorry? I was a bit round the side. Well, it looked pretty good to me. Huh? It looked pretty good to me. Didn't it? Yeah. I mean, there's not a lot to help you there. <laughs> <laughs> the, uh, <coughs> but the, you know, with the, with the good, good horses, you can do that. And um, or two strides, yeah, but one stride and. Um, I've had some team horses that would just do that with a bounce. Um, they get that good at it. Um, but when they get that good at it, then you have no fear from the narrows because they're always looking to go between the, uh, between the flags. And uh, that's why they're as good as they are and why they make it look as easy as they, they do out there on the cross country. Well, the good ones, yeah. Well, I think you can all agree we've had a amazing fantastic evening with Captain Mark Phillips, Lauren Huff, and Zara Tyndall, and also our wonderful helpers. Thank you very much. Seven years old this mare, Cassio Dam. Remember the name, <laughs> and remember that it might not be Tokyo, but it might be Paris in a few years' time. And also remember Zed. Zara's got a number of horses that are coming up through the grades as well. She's had a bit of a quiet spell, but she's got some good horses, mother of two. And we'll talk about that maybe in our Q&A, because she is a mother of two, and how difficult that is to put into the world of eventing. Um, but uh, just one more time, thank you very much, Captain Mark Phillips, Lauren Huff, and Zara Tyndall. Thank you. We're very grateful for you guys to coming as well because it's been a long afternoon, um, but it is Q&A time and Ben from Dodson Hall along with, uh, we've got uh, a number of us, Chloe Dix, Chloe where are you? Chloe's down there, Chloe's coming over as well. Ben's going to be our Annika Rice as it were, he's going to be running around. Um, we think he needs to be fitter than he is. <laughs> Obviously not fed on Dodson and Hurrell. He's fed on McDonald's and pot noodles most of the time. So uh, Ben will be running around answering uh, your questions. So has anybody anywhere... Okay, hands are already going up. God, lots of questions. Ben, hurry up. Right, right around here. Quickly. Come on, Ben. Okay, uh, my f the first hand I saw was just here, so we'll go all the way down, Ben. Keep coming. Keep coming, Ben. Keep coming. <laughs> just up here. Put your hand up. Just up here. <laughs> Lady in the grey. Okay. Um, well, look, you did touch on it slightly, Spencer. Um, as a mother of two, I have just had a 10-week-old. Oh, so I've got a 10-week-old, and I want to know what your fitness plan was to get back riding again, having had children. Because um, I'm really wobbly at the minute. Amazing, amazing. You're, you're using that. Um, I, um... <laughs> have you got one? <laughs> <laughs> have you got one, Zed? I got, got back one? on. <laughs> <laughs> Um, and then I kind of went from there to, s to s um, kind of went from how my body felt and um, how strong I was feeling and just took it really slowly until you kind of uh, at the beginning think, holy shit, this is, I'm so weak, I can't do anything. Um, when is this, when am I going to come out of it? Um, but it does end, it does, well, it gets better. <laughs> um, uh, and you just, you just got to, Play it, play it by your body. You've got to wait until you feel stronger, and then keep upping it each time. Um, I did. I just tried to do lots of strength stuff as well to help um, alongside riding. And I think riding is actually really good because as soon as you sit on, your core already engages. Um, so it kind of is is quite helpful. 
maybe a lot of it, people may, think maybe, you're mad, but maybe it does for a world European Olympic medalist. <laughs> but for for the likes of uh, you know many more mere mortals, I, I getting on and core tour. strength. Uh, <laughs> what does that mean? I mean, are you going to the gym? Um, no. Yes. So are you? Well, we are very lucky. We have a gym at home. So um, I do I do sort of running and bike, and I do weights and stuff in the in the gym. Um, and it doesn't have to be heavy, um, just just slowly, bit, bit by bit, to build it up gradually, um, and just try and get your stomach muscles back together. Because if you go too quickly, then it just takes forever. Is it interesting that, l l this I find interesting, that l last year, the um, uh, Zara only rode the, the short format, uh, won, won an advanced class at Wellington in August, um, then you said you got a bit out, out of breath at, yeah. at Blenheim. So, but always the plan last year was to stay with the short format. Uh, and you had Tom McEwen ride Watkins, I think, wasn't it? Yeah. At, uh, at Buckelow in the long format because she th thought she wasn't strong enough in her core. But n but now here we are, you know, six months on and or more. Nearly nine a year. Yeah. Uh, and yeah, uh, nearly she's going nearly to yeah. do <laughs> two, two long formats, two, two weeks running. And, and it's, yeah, I think it's really important to say as yeah. well. Then ask me how I feel after that. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but important to say as well at this point that it doesn't matter who you are or where you've been or what you've done, it's never too soon or too late to hand the reins over and say, do you know what? I can't do it properly. I'm going to give it to somebody else, and you've got some great mates. And Tom, Tom's done a brilliant job. Tom McKeown also based um, with with you at Gatcombe, along with Ludwig and, yeah, and you Lauren know, a number of riders. Yeah, Lauren jumped my horses a lot for me as well, mm. so I was very lucky. Yeah, um, I was very lucky. And but yeah, I didn't want. Also, for me, I didn't want to do a bad job on the horses because if I was doing a bad job on them, I could put them back um, in their training and their experience as well. So um, I just. I, yeah, I just trundled along until I felt strong enough to to do it. But <coughs> that was, I mean, interesting. And, and the, you heard Lauren talking tonight as well. You know, lovely young horse, but didn't want to give it a bad experience. Yeah? And uh, that's so important that the horses go through the grades, go through the levels without having a bad experience. Because if they get that bad experience, it takes months to get them back, and sometimes they never get back to to where to where they were. So, you know, in the training and the progression with the horse, you know. Keep giving them the good experience is really, really important. We've seen and yourself. Too, too many young horses <laughs> ruined by going too fast, too quickly. The horse is important. The rider is important. But you need to separate the, thing, the two things and uh, make sure they're fundamental. Uh, ben, anyone else? Thank you. That was a great question, by the way. <laughs> and congratulations. Ten weeks old. Is it ten weeks? Oh, ten weeks well old. Well done. Joe. It's another mum question. <laughs> When you finally did get back on, how did you mentally, did you find yourself um, a bit worried, scared? Was there any, do you know what I mean? Do you have any reservations because you had two young ones? It's, a, it's something um, that you sort of bounced around quite a bit. But I don't think, I think my, m more for me it was about um, being physically strong enough. Because if I wasn't strong enough, then I wasn't going to be safe enough. So um, getting back fit w would actually mean that I would be more confident um, more able to to ride properly and do a better job. Um, so I I didn't really. It wasn't really about children. It was actually about being able to do everything properly rather than doing everything sort of half 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 heartedly. Yeah. I was say half heartedly. Yeah. Half heartedly. <laughs> Great. Uh, right, leave Zed alone for a second. Lauren's <laughs> here. Uh, anyone for for Lauren? I mean, okay. Right down the end, Ben. Come on, running pot <laughs> noodles, running it. them off. <laughs> um, it's great to have. I can't, I, I, I can't stress enough how lucky we are. Dodson and Horrell. I mean, we had uh, Brand Ambassador Piggy French winning uh, Babington just a couple of weeks ago. Well done, Piggy. Well done, Piggy. Clap, clap. Come on, guys. <laughs> uh, Brand Ambassador for Dodson and Horrell. But we've also got the likes of these guys here. I mean, just amazing. Um, go. Hi, it's one for, for Lauren, more Good. a bitting question. Um, I noticed you had a Waterford Pelham on the first mare you were riding with a rubber. What's your experience with horses in show jumping that you find them very, very strong, that you need a bit more control? Um, and how have you exper experimented that to get the right uh, combination? Yeah, um, I had a quite a famous horse named Quick Study 
Um, he was a quick star that I had a lot of success with, and he had a really, really difficult mouth, and he was really strong. Um, and I, t I tried a lot of different things, and I think sometimes with horses that are strong, if they learn, if they get used to a certain bit, they'll just learn to go against it. So I think changing it quite a bit is, is a good thing. Um, I think if you know how to use a double bridle, those are, those are helpful, certainly for training at home. Uh, in the end, quick study went in a, a, a long hackamore combined with a bit, so I had a bit of pressure on the nose um, and not, not so strong in the mouth, and that, that's what worked for him. Um, but I think the biggest thing is just to not get stuck with one thing. And if you find something that works, not to overuse it. Um, I hardly ever, ever use my show bits at home. Um, I'm all, I, all of my horses have two, two bridles, and uh, I always try to use less at home and, and save, save what works for the, for the ring. The, the bitting is very, um, I mean, the bit is a, an aid, it's not a s s solution. Um, and you have to be very careful because you know, horses run towards pain, so just putting a sharp bit in isn't necessarily the answer. You can actually make it worse that way. So you've got to be able to apply the pressure you need, but without, without it causing, causing pain. And, uh, and like Lauren says, the uh, horses get used to a bit, so keep changing it. And um, you should see Lauren's bit box. You, know, <laughs> you wouldn't get them all into that bin. She's got, she's got a, but uh, to keep changing it and finding the right bit where you've got um, the control the control that you need, the control to do what you saw them do um, here tonight. Okay. Um, some stranger has <laughs> just walked into the arena. Somebody called uh, Sir Anthony McCoy. AP has been watching uh, from the gods up in the uh, top area. Did you, know, did, did you know that he was here? Yes. Of course, because you invited him. Um, AP... Great experience to come and watch something like this. Um, I know you've got a couple of questions to ask these guys, so we're uh, <laughs> far away. I don't know if wow. we want to hear it. Hang on. Shh, shh, shh. Zed, Lauren first. Lauren, obviously I used to ride a few horses once upon a time, and I was thinking if I was to go into another career, i.e. eventing or show jumping, which one would I need the more talent for? <laughs> or in my like case, the lack. Question. In my case, the lack of talent. <laughs> Which one would I get away with? You know. Well, we know you're brave. The mad one. <laughs> so, are you just? You don't want to say it, but you're thinking it would be easier to. <laughs> it would be easier to be an inventor, yeah. Is that what you're thinking? Uh, I think it all depends on what you're sitting on as well. What oh. kind of horse you're on? I'm sure if you were on the best show jumper in the world, you probably uh. could do it. If you're on the best eventer in the world, you could do it. I was pretty good at losing, to be honest. I was told <laughs> once that I was the losing most jockey of how all time. Your, so. How was your jump, jumping big star? My, my jumping big star was okay. <laughs> so it was. I've, I felt quite privileged that I was allowed to ride big star. Not many other people were. And obviously, once I had one go on him, no one else got to go on big star after him because I wrecked him. <laughs> 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 that is true. I did. I did manage to finish Big Star, but you know he was never going to top being an Olympic <laughs> champion, was he? So it was just best for everyone. The other one is Zara. While we're here, when I was growing up, you always have a vision, or you look at whoever is the best person. That's you know, when I, I believe it or not, wanted to be a flat jockey. So I thought Lester Pickett was God, or whatever. And I wanted to be like him. Or you, you get people that you look up to. In your house, like, how did it work? Do you think was it mom or dad or? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Both of them. What? You Both no, you have them. to pick one. No, you can't. Oh, okay, right. Well, if you're not going to answer that, then did you ever think you'd like to be like okay, your mum? Okay, Papa's here, so Papa. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's okay. Did you ever think you'd like to be like your mum? Because obviously your mum was so talented that she rode in races as well. I know. After S eventing so as well. So do you think, are you better than your mum? So she, she went crazier. Yeah. <laughs> she went from eventing to racing. Do you ever it's wish the wrong way around, isn't it? Do you ever <laughs> wish you were as good as your mum? Am I... Yeah, okay. Ever wish you were as good as your mum? No, no, obviously not. Different era, though, you know. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, so you're, you're saying your, your dad, obviously, was the one you wanted to write like, yeah? My dad, what? You wanted to... I said you look up to someone when you're wanting to write. Oh yeah, I, I trained with him before he went and left and went to the Ameri Americans. 
<laughs> okay. I did he actually I always walk, I always try and walk a course with him or go through a cross country course with him because he's got a very good cross country brain and he'll always look at the the quickest route or you know something that someone hasn't seen so I do try and make sure if I'm going around a big track and and he's seen it I will always give him a call or if he's there I'll always walk it with him so you you do see strides sometimes you just don't hope sometimes yeah I I, <laughs> I, I was just wondering because I used to hope a lot <laughs> so I did one last question for both of you actually before I shut my shoes off do you think you've underachieved or overachieved Ooh. Mm. I know what you would say Oh, I'd definitely underachieve. <laughs> I'd I mean. definitely be so much better next time. Um, I think there's more to do, definitely. Okay, lucky you. <laughs> what about you, Lauren? Uh, yeah, I, for sure, I still have a, a lot that I want to do, and um, I love the sport, and I think that the most important thing, and the reason we all do this, and we're all here, is because we love the horses, and what they do for us is extraordinary, and... Uh, I feel like I wake up every day and learn something from them, and uh, I don't think that will ever stop. And very good answer. <laughs> <laughs> one last question: Is anyone teachable? Like, could I be taught? I wonder. What? <laughs> what did you say? Could anyone be taught like me to be a yeah, show jumper or an observer? Okay, next time we'll do another one, and then we'll bring AP a horse, and he can do it too. <laughs> That's all. It doesn't happen for a while. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, AP McCoy. Thank you very much to AP. We're great, so grateful to have not only the stars of eventing, the stars of show jumping, but also the stars of uh, racing as well, National Hunt Racing. Um, any more questions before we wrap up the evening? Can I just say? Hang on, Mark would like to say something. Just before, uh, Miranda, so midway blue, sky blue. Just before you ask though, Miranda, Mark's got something to say. Yeah, I mean, I think we're obviously very fortunate to hide, I mean, AP, probably one of the greatest jockeys of all time the, uh, in the racing world. Um, Zara in eventing and Lauren with a show jumping, top, top, top uh, people. But they've all got one thing in common, yeah? yeah. And first of all, it's the love of the horse. Dodson and Horrell. <laughs> 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 the, that empathy with, with, with the horse and the, and the balance uh, and coordination that, allows, that gives them the feel to be able to um, ride a horse um, the best. And, and I truly believe that if AP had gone eventing, he would have got to the top the same way as Zara had gone racing. She would have gone to the top. Or Lauren had gone cross country, she would have got to the top. Because they have that affinity and that relationship with the, with the horse that, I that is so important. Not that mad. Such a charmer. Uh, okay, Miranda. Um, hi, Zara and Lauren. Um, you obviously work very closely together. What's the most important thing you've learned from each other while you've been training together? <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> well, I think it's we're really fortunate that uh, we can be in the same arena most days, and um, I think having that environment and that atmosphere is fantastic. I think I was able to be helpful to her when she was having her babies, and um, the, yeah, it's just like it's fun. I, I think. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we also have Ludwig there, um, and yeah, the barrels, it's, it's the fun to barrels. be able to bounce ideas off of each other. And uh, certainly, if I'm jumping a new horse, I'll, I'll ask her to come have a look. And um, we're just really fortunate to be able to be in the same yard. Yeah, I think I've been very lucky since I've moved up to Aston and been based there. I, the thing that um, really helps as well is that we get on really well with each other. So it doesn't matter what you what you s what she says to me I'm like okay you know it work it it works really well she can see she knows how I ride she watches me every day so she can she see little bits that right just you know tweak that as I was saying earlier um so you know she's in invaluable what she says to me you know every day in training thank oh, you thanks oh. <laughs> well, they're so sweet <laughs> they hate each other really <laughs> um <laughs> Chloe, Chloe's here. Oh, and here. I'm the pony trainer, <laughs> by the way. <laughs> Chloe, <laughs> Chloe's here, Chloe Nix. And Chloe will be by the Dodson and Horrell gazebo on your way out if you need to talk to her. Uh, sports nutritionist for Dodson and Horrell. So, uh, sports horse, sport horse nutritionist for uh, Dodson and Horrell. I had a practice at this earlier and I got it so wrong. Uh, Chloe, okay. 
the dicks for sports horse nutrition. Um, I got that in such a wrong order earlier, it was unbelievable. Um, but she's here. Has anyone got any questions they'd like to ask Chloe uh, about sports nutrition? I think um, we, we're very lucky to be with Dodson Hall. Before, before you go anywhere, uh, no, Is that yours? we'd like to know what you feed, yours? how <laughs> you feed. Do you know? Or well, <laughs> yeah, go, 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 go. I was going to say we're very lucky to have Dodson Hall food, and I. Um, uh, we work very closely um, with Dodson and Hall, and they are amazing at coming and seeing you, looking at the horses. Every horse is different. It's just like a person. Every diet is different. Um, so they're amazing in, in the different um, different feeds we can feed them because obviously they don't, they don't all need the same thing. And I always get commented on how well my horses look, and I think, you know, down to the work as well, but the f stuff that we put in them you know, really hel helps what what we can create in their in their physique, in their coats, um, in everything. So, yeah, we're very lucky. Incredib incredibly diverse uh, in each individual athlete as an equine, uh, Dodson Horrell. So please do go and see them on the way out. If you haven't picked up your free three kilogram bag of feed, then make sure you do, because that's at the gazebo as well. Um, any more questions before we wrap up the evening? I also need to give a shout out to Dodson and Horrell because they really went above and beyond this year for me. I, I um, spent my winters in Florida and uh, I was always struggling. I, di I didn't want to switch my feed. Um, and so they, f they had all of my feed shipped from England to America um, so that my horses didn't have to switch uh, during the winter. And I'm so grateful to them for that. That's commitment. Um, Chloe will be down at the uh, gazebo. Pick up your free bag. Uh, Mark, have you, Captain Mark, sorry. Uh, have <laughs> I, you I anything, many, anything many. else you'd like no, to no, say no, before no, we close no. the evening? No, no. Just, um, just to thank um, the horses, Lauren, Sarah. Um, yeah, I hope you all enjoyed it. Uh, Zed, anything you'd like to say before we wrap up? And they, these guys will be down question. there as well. I think Spencer, they, they oh, sorry, we've got one last question oh. just over here. Where? Oh, okay. I'm so sorry. Uh, <laughs> I've had a couple of really quite nasty falls over the last couple of weeks. And uh, Lauren, I noticed when your dapple went really big <laughs> over the jumps. Uh, I'm not anywhere near like your level at all, obviously, but... What are you thinking about? How are you able to stay in the saddle when he does, or <laughs> when, when you, it, it flies like that? Are you sort of, what's um, your a, a lot of practice. Yeah, obviously. Uh, <laughs> one thing that is important to me is my fitness. I think we take our horses' fitness really seriously, and, and we've got physios and everything you can imagine we do for our horses. And I, I try to do the same for myself, if I'm really honest. I've, I've had a lot of bad falls and injuries in my career. Not as many as AP over there, <laughs> but um, <laughs> quite a few. And uh, I, I really practice core strength. Um, I do a lot of Pilates, even when I'm traveling, which is almost every week. I, even if I just do Pilates on the floor in my room, um, that has alleviated a lot of my back pain, actually, as I've gotten older. And I find uh, makes me stay uh, quite a bit stronger in the saddle without having to hang on the mouth for the balance, if that makes sense. And your your lower leg stayed so still. Like in term, is that more your core, or is that just your what you're doing before? Uh, yeah, I, 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 I mean, again, it's all repetition, and you yeah, know, yeah. I've I've probably was riding before I could walk, uh, but I had a very good education um, from many many different trainers as I grew up, and uh, I would say now I wouldn't think I'm, I don't think so much about gripping here as much as staying really strong here. And I think if you're strong in the center, that sort of sets everything in line. Mm -hmm. I think if you think about being strong with your hand, that gets you to the back of the saddle, or being strong with your leg, you know, it's, it's, it's all center of gravity, and then everything else follows. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you. It's interesting, Zara was talking about core strength as well, because it's, it's that core strength that helps you have the balance that enables you to do the things you've seen tonight. Okay, um, we could go on all night, I'm <laughs> sure, and I'm sure there's, there's more questions that can be asked. If you have any more questions, I'm sure you can put them to the, the Dodson and Horrell team, to Chloe. Chloe's going to be down here. Uh, 
Zara, Lauren, and Captain Mark will be, if you don't mind, down here for a few minutes, just maybe signing autographs or answering any questions. But I'm sure you'll all agree it's been a fantastic educational evening. Whether you want to compete at this level, at uh, Grand Prix or at Grassroots, you're going to take something away for the future in either show jumping, eventing, or whatever discipline that you want to be in. For now, though, I'd like to thank Sydney and the team from Unicorn, for Dodson and Horrell, and uh, for all of the team that have produced this evening. But first, foremost, for the owners, for our two little volunteers that have been doing the show jumps, that have been uh, stewards all night, to Mary and uh, Eve, that have been fantastic out here. Thank you guys very much. But please put your hands together once again for Zara Tyndall, Lauren Huff, and Captain Mark Phillips. Safe journey home, everybody, and we'll see you soon. Good night.